Um, going into my Quinacrylo, and I'm going to start up this right hand corner. Oops. And I'm going to run it in. Ooh, that's bright. And I'm going to tip it. Yeah, it's nice and bright. Oh, see, can you still see that? Is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to tip it at the same time so you can still but, see it. Yeah. So, lots of nice colour. No. And obviously, it's going to run around my um, around my masking fluid <coughs> um, quite nicely. So, lots and lots of colour. And I want to give the impression that the horse is running this way. So, that's why I'm running the paint that way. You know when you're in a car or you're in a train and you kind of see everything blurring past? Yeah. That's almost kind of the idea that I want to give the feeling that it's, it's being blurred back in this direction, if you see what I mean. Right, I'm going to put some, um, I think I need a slight colour change, so I'm going to go with some um, slightly darker brown, but <laughs> Sienery brown now, just to get a colour change in here. So I'll drop some of that in. Over Haven't the top. you done one like this, Stuart? Sorry? Haven't I seen one of these in Ferrum Gallery you've done with a horse running? No, uh, no, I did. Um, I did the one with the uh, the knight, you know, the the, the jousting one. Ah, oh, okay, maybe that was. But that was only just the horse's head. That was. Oh, that's it there. Yeah, Beautiful. that was just the horse's head. That, that was lovely. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, um, it was lovely. I actually got it behind over here, actually, in the main. Um, oh. So that's that, and then I'm going to go now into some. Um, let's go with. Let's go slightly. Bluey or bluey greens. So I'm going into the um, cerulean blue now, and I'm going to drop some of this on. Oh, that's actually dry. Is there. that, is that on wet, oh. Stuart? <clears throat> um, this bit down here actually is dry. I should have wet that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cerulean blue. Just the odd bit. Green. While it's still um, still nice yeah. and wet. <laughs> A few bits of blue over here. Well, bluey greens, I should say. Oops, can you still see that? Right, Are you still okay. tilting it, Stuart? Yeah, I'm still trying to tilt it to this left-hand corner. That's yeah. why it's sort of wobbling a bit on screen, unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry about that. Right, now, I'm taking my spray bottle. Oh. oh. Okay, so it's going to get a bit messy. <laughs> so you see this down here now, where it's all kind of jaggedy? Yeah. I'm just going to spray that whole section out. So I'm putting lots of water in there because really this is my dust area um, uh, and I need this to be very soft. So I'm yeah. almost washing, almost washing that out. So it will stain the paper a bit, but I need it to be incredibly um, soft. So the blue, the cerulean blue, because it's such a, a stainer, it stains the paper quite a bit. It's actually stayed, but the, the yellow is actually running away. Um, okay, so there we go. It's all gone everywhere. Never mind. <laughs> the right mess this morning. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to mop some of that up. And then before this has too long to dry, I'm going to lay it flat on my, my easel. Hopefully that's still showing up okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now, while it's still wet, down here now, I want to try and improve this misty effect. So we just block this up a touch. I don't want too, much, too many puddles everywhere. Just lose a bit in there and a bit in there. So down here now, we're going to try and get this misty effect a bit better. So I'm actually going to take my, my damp brush and just work. So I'm wiping. I'm wiping the brush off on the tissue, so I'm dunking it into, into water and then wiping it and blotting it so that I can actually get in here and um, lift and actually agitate this paint a little bit. So I get some a subtly lighter area, some will be slightly darker, some will be slightly lighter, it won't have any effect. So I'm just going to wet the bottom part of the picture i.e. the ground. So I'm just putting some clean water at the base here over the feet 
because I'm not going to be worried because they're all going to be darker. And then I'm going to go straight into my nice uh, burnt sienna colours. And then I'm going to run that again into these areas. <coughs> Might put a little bit of paint grey in there as well, just to darken it. Bit in places, yeah. and I'm coming in right from the, the bottom. So, you see how it's nicely pluming into that wet area? So, I'm not God. purposely all I'm doing is I'm just adding it to the bottom, and it's I'm allowing the paint to plume up. So, you tipped it again? No, so it's on flat at the moment, but because all oh. of this is wet, it's yeah, just it's creeping up into it, yeah. Oh. So that's kind of how I'm getting that soft effect. So a bit more here, perhaps a little bit there. I'm just going to take a smaller brush, again with my burnt sienna and um, Payne's grey mix, but this time a little bit thicker. And I'm going to flick moist areas. Thank you. The, uh, this this muddy kind of. Um, colour and I'm hoping that some of this will just it will be is I'm just going to drop a little bit of salt just at the bottom here just to re-emphasise the um, the uh, effect some salt just in where amongst that those colours Just to really add a touch more um, pluming to the uh, to the paint. Some of it's a bit too dry now, so it won't do anything. But basically, it's going to get wet. Let's start with that, and just going straight into the horse. Yellow, a yellow horse. Yellow horse. <laughs> Yellowy brown horse. Yeah. yeah brown this is going to get painted into so. This is just the undercolour, remember? So what Obviously, yellow is that? Is that, is that the gold you were using? So it's some of the quinacrinone gold, it's some of the burnt sienna in it um, at the same time. So we'll just drop a few bits of that here and there. Get that coming down the horse. Now I'm going to go into, let's go with some Hmm. Give a little bit of red into that, and I'm going to purple it up just slightly by putting a teeny bit of the cerulean blue in it. Okay, so it's not so so red. Which red are you using? Just a cadmium red. Okay. Bled out a little bit too much there. So we'll bring that back up towards the top of his head. Just let that move and merge and do all its interesting things. Do, do, do. Right, just mop some of this up. There's a lot of water no, collecting. Did, did you just wet out the horse? Yes, just the horse, yeah. So only the horse was wet. Do, do, do. Coming back towards the tail, just bring some of that all the way back. <clears throat> now I'm going to have a colour change again, so I'm going to go more purpley now. And into the purple I'm going to put some um, yellow. So it's a purple but it's a brownie purple. We'll bring some of this up the legs. Oops, don't want that bleeding too far. Get some of that coming down. What colours did you use for that shoe? This was just the um, uh, purple and uh, yeah, some what, yellow. How did you make the purple? I just used the purple, um, but oh. you can use you can use. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, like any sort of dark red and a blue, that would do it. Okay. So, 
unfortunately it's kind of bled out a little bit down here so remember to mop these up as I come down just shape that leg up a bit more there so I'm almost painting the legs in a silhouette fashion at the moment rather than worry about any sort of detail just keep them fairly simple and almost as one big shape rather than individual legs. Have you put blue into that red <clears throat> colour? Um, well, there will be blue because obviously it's a purpley colour, so. All right, okay. Um, it's a purpley red, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll bring some of that up the back. And he's got quite a light back, so I don't want to go too high with this dark. We're coming down this leg. Down the main part of the leg. It's actually got a very light spot on that leg, but never mind, we'll just get some colour on there for the moment. There we go. And then we'll take that out and then into the tail a bit. Part of the tail. And then we'll take actually this dark up the underside of the neckline a bit more. Much more purple. I'm actually going to put a bit more um, of a brown in this. So, the blue. It's a bit more purpley. Not too dark, but dark enough. Because the underside of his neck is actually quite quite dark and into the head is pretty dark to get all of these elements to sort of show up. So this purple that you're using, mm -hmm. it looks browny. It's very browny, it is, you're right. But if you put purple and yellow together, you will get a sort of a brownyish oh. uh, kind of um, oh. color anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Mop up some of these, you're getting a bit puddly there. Oh, yeah. There you go. You've got to know what you're talking about, don't you, Stuart, really? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Just shake those up a little bit. A bit more colour in here. A bit darker actually in his mane up the top here so we'll get that in well, i'm going to do this while it's wet so that it it kind of is a bit less solid and kind of bleeds quite nicely or not as the case may be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's coming over the top of the head there I won't do the eye just yet because that will be a bit oh, too wet. Uh, and on the flanks as well. So the back, he's got a lot of a lot of light through there. So I'm going to lift out of that. And keep that really soft. Down this leg, it's quite light. So we'll get this lifted out through here. <laughs> okay. um, and that's probably enough. Mm. Okay, so that's that's that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's gone deadly already. silent. It looks finished already, Stuart. <laughs> deadly silence from everyone. Have I stunned you all this week? <laughs> yes, you have. Yeah. 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 Oh, brilliant. Exactly what they've done. Well, you know, now and again, you've got to try, as I said, you've got to try these projects that are a little bit more challenging. Yeah, I um, thought that. 
I to know that. what you can and can't achieve. Oh, so I know last I week. <laughs> 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 well, just think, you know, you've got a whole you've got a whole week between now and next week's class. So yes. you've got plenty of plenty of time to just take your time with the video and have a little go on your own. Yeah. Um and just see how you get on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only that, but I thought it's quite a nice subject. You know, you know. It's nice. It is a subject. It is. Yeah, it Lovely is. subject. Who like all? Just to jazz it up a bit, all the way through. <clears throat> Fairly strong. Take that all the way into his edge of the hat, the brim, I should say. Got a little pointy bit on the top there. A bit more colour. So under his neck. So under his chin there. So this is actually all in shadow, this bit, which I'll put in later. And then his far leg is actually this bit here, so I'm not going to paint that. I'm going to leave that. Um, unpainted for the moment. <clears throat> now, because I don't want it to be so solid, whilst that's still wet, I'm going to take, um, I probably should have done this first actually, but never mind. No, I'm going to take some, a damp brush, just with a little bit of moisture, and I'm going to run it down his back, just to get it to bleed out a bit. and to cauliflower a little bit into his back so it's not so solid. Just a bit of moisture down there, perhaps a little bit around the top of his head. <clears throat> Just to also accentuate the movement feeling um, and to blur the color a little bit. And now we'll get the boot in and the boot is going to be um let's go with a nice dark blue i think i've got a really strong almost um indigo type blue but it's got a bit more um blueness to it so i'm going to use this nice rich blue and that comes all the way through the front and trying to keep the drawing relatively accurate I'm just going to change your hands here so I can see what I'm doing. Comes over the top of his boot. There. Through here. Kind of like that. And then before that dries, I'm going to put in the, um, the cloth of the, the, the horse, whatever it is, that, the sheet that kind of is over the back of the horse. And I'm going to just do that with a neat cadmium red, just to again keep the colour content up. And I'm going to do that on dry paper. And hopefully, when it meets the boot, it will um, bleed quite nicely for us. Um, and I'm going to run that into the boot. There we go. See it bleeding in there. Just a bit more water, just to get a bit of variation in the wash. And it kind of comes across, down, bleeding all of that um, blue over here. It's also red in here. So let's just do that. And I'll run that up and then into there. And then we've got a dark strap that kind of comes down and then under yeah. the hole. Yeah. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to wet that first. <clears throat> kind of like so. And then I'm going to take the same colour that I used for the boot, which was the dark blue colour, and run that 
down and through and just let that bleed out into that wet area. Okay. Then the far leg is going to be a grey, so I'm just going to use a bit of paint grey. The far leg. Yeah, the far leg, which is on the the furthest side of the horse. Oh, I see. Which is under his arm. Yeah, mine hasn't got one of them. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, if he's only got one leg, it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. <clears throat> bit of that in there. Also, a bit of grey just in here because I don't want the saddle. Oh, that's going to cauliflower, but never mind. So this is a bit more dilute, this colour, so that's going to cauliflower that edge, but never mind, I'm not too bothered. Um, mop that up a bit. And I'll run that down a bit stronger. Down here. Just to get those to merge together a little bit. Might even put a bit of that same Payne's grey. So this is just Payne's grey I'm putting on here. Down there. And then we've got a bit of shadow that kind of comes around and then up the horse. <clears throat> so I'm going to use some um, um, of the burnt sienna and Payne's grey again together. <coughs> Fairly dark. Little bit of water in there so again I'm doing all of this whilst it's still a little bit moist so the colors have the opportunity to run together a bit bit of shadow there kind of comes over and this is into dry on the horse kind of comes up and then around here and then we're into the main which is coming coming through here <coughs> so i'm just turning a little bit of the um the shadowier colors um oh, onto the horse just to start to pick out this is all on wet stuart uh no the majority of this is on dry now because obviously i want these these um little washes to be a bit more controlled yeah and to um stay put so what I'm doing is I'm just wetting, so if, the, if it want it softer, then I'm just wetting the, um, the edge with a damp brush. Okay? So if you get an edge and you don't like the edge, then you just, like here for example, where yeah. I want that piece of paint that I've just put on, I'm just going with a damp brush and then just tickling the edge away really. Just really damp brush, not... Yeah, just moist, so not yeah, wet. Yeah, moist, dry it off of the tissue. Yeah, and then just enough to, to get the paint to move, really. Um, so we've got some muscle there. Just keep that soft. <clears throat> there we go. And then a bit more shadow. Oh, better not let that dry too much there. Let's just soften that off. Oh, yeah, he's got a white patch. So that's saying grey, I'm using sort of paint grey with some cadmium red in it, um, just to give me these slightly darker browns down the bottom here. Um, so it comes behind this foreleg and then it comes through and then underneath into the hoof. So a bit more um, paint grey in there. And then this will all be Payne's greyish. So coming down like so. And then I'll just soften off that. Keep it a bit softer there. Might even blur the hoof a little bit. Make it a little bit less obvious. Mm -hmm. So you're not doing background underneath there where your brush is now? 
Uh, I will. I um, I don't know. I'm still yeah. too minded no. yet as to whether um, I'm going to leave yeah. it as it is or whether I might. I think what I might do is if the legs get too um, unruly or they they don't <laughs> they don't look right, then I might put a bit of a wash just to tidy them up. Yeah. But okay. I'm quite liking the contrast at the moment between the light yeah, area against the light. I just wondering how you do it without going fuzzy because mine would go fuzzy. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I think you need a little bit of a little bit of something uh, to keep it interesting. Okay, so that's that, and then let's just lose that little edge there. Continue the dark now. Was that a question? No. No. So I'm just putting some um, cerulean blue into the Payne's grey and I'm going to bring that up into the hairline here oh. and then I'm going to continue that into his hand. So I'm linking those two washes together. So this is going to be the front of his arm, his hand, which is like a glove. Um, and then We've got a darker bit of his arm that's in the background there. So I'm going to link all that together mm -hmm. and link that together. So it's all in shadow. So I think a big part of, of painting just generally is, is trying to make your shape interrelate um, and not break everything up too much. The more you break shapes up, the... Um, the more it sort of doesn't really work together. You have to sort of almost forego some detail, making sure that the water stays within the actual eye shape. Take some of the brown, a bit of Payne's gray again. And I'm gonna drop that into the center of that wet area and just let it bleed and then I'm going to take a smaller brush if I can find one okay so just a smaller brush and I'm going to manipulate that color now out into the shape that I want it comes down there, it goes up here a bit, comes over, and then down. A bit more of that same colour, a touch more brown in it, and give the start to give the illusion that these straps are casting some shadows over the main, uh, you know, over the, over the horse. These are just the same browny grey colours that I've been using. Um, and then let's go to a bigger brush. That one's far too small. So let's just bring these sort of darker brown. We're going to put a bit more of the quinacrinone in that colour. And a bit more brown. Just to make it slightly browner. So it, it's a bit more rich. I'm going to bring the forehead stronger. Over a bit lighter there. Comes around the eye. Down the front of the nose. And then we've actually got a dark bit right here, which is the actual, the other eye. It's just like a lump, basically. A very yeah. tiny sliver of a lump. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then that gives the impression of the other eye. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this comes down, down the nose, bleed that in there a bit. And then I'm going to go slightly bluer. So I'm going to use the, the dark, which has gone a bit greener, it's got a bit more cerulean. Because in here is a bit more, um, it's a bit bluer. And coming down the forehead, fairly dry because obviously I'm going into wet area. Just nice. to get a bit of blue in there. Ooh. So I'm going to go straight into some Payne's grey now. With lots of water in it. 
and then all around the nose and the the main front part of the mouth <clears throat> it's going to be a bit a bit gray and slightly pink as well as slightly redder and even i'm just going to paint straight through there and then just dark leave a little sliver of the lighter color showing for the outside of that nostril Get a bit more tone in there. No. And put some light washes over the top of that muscle. There. Just loosen that a little bit. There. No. So this is kind of a cerulean -y turquoise colour, yeah, just to, yeah, just to get the warmer browns in the head to show up a bit better. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to put and a little bit And is that all dry? No, 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 I wet the paper. It's on wet, but that's where yeah. mine would leak into the hall. Because there's some masking fluid on here as well, so I want to let that uh. kind of do its, its thing. <laughs> 